we want to express a Boolean formula using a single perceptron. So first let's have a look at our truth value table. And we can see that this expression over here, a and not b, is only um, true for the following case. a must be true and b must be false. So here we get a 1, otherwise a 0. So now we want to draw this into a coordinate system. Let's do that over here. So we have um, on this axis we have x1, on this axis x2, and we can see that for the four points that we want to consider, only in the case x1 is 1 and x2 is 0, so only in that case we get a true value, so c equals 1. What we now want to do is we want to introduce uh, a decision boundary and we chose this line over here. And um, what we also have over here is the normal vector. So um, the vector that's um, orthogonal onto this um, decision boundary. And um, yeah, now let's prepare the perceptron that we want to do. And we have to express this decision boundary through the perceptron weights. But first let's draw this. So what we get is we get an output over here, which is fed by an activation function, which is fed by a summation of the product of the weights multiplied by uh, the x vector. So here we have x1 as the input, here we have x2, and here yeah, we get x0, x0 equals, oh, sorry, x0 equals 1, just as usual. Okay, the next step now is to actually express this decision boundary through these weights. And what we can see here is that we have a normal vector which goes in the direction, let me draw that here, of 1 minus 1. So 1 in that direction and 1 in that direction or minus 1 in that direction. So this is our um, normal vector and this already gives us our weights w1 W1 equals 1 and W2 equals minus 1. However, what we don't have yet is our weight W0. And um, yeah, we can get that by filling in the missing condition that we don't have considered yet. So we only considered the normal vector which is resembling the direction in which this decision boundary is going or the direction that's orthogonal. However, what we didn't consider yet is this shift that we have over here. And we can represent that by looking at this point over here, which is the intersection uh, with the axis x2. And we get uh, coordinates for that, and these coordinates are 0 in that direction and minus 0 0.5 in uh, that direction. And we just fill this in into our equation. So, um, yeah, the, the equation that we have here is w0 times 1, because this is our x0, plus w1 times uh, 0, because, yeah, x1 is 0 at this point, plus w2 times minus 0 0.5, this is this value over here for x2, equals 0, because we're considering the normal form of the um, yeah, equation for this line. And we can just fill in the values that we have here, so 1 and minus 1. So we get w0 
and I just pull this to the other side, equals my minus one times zero, so um, zero plus pull that to the other side, um, so we get minus minus one times minus zero point five, which is minus zero point five. So we have our w zero, and this is minus zero point five. And um, yeah, this is just for this summation, but in order to actually determine the um, yeah, prediction values, what we have to do is we have to actually apply this activation function. And what we use here is the Heaviside function. So um, I want to do this exemplary for, um, for one point. Let's maybe choose this one over here. We should get a value of zero, let's see. So what we need to do is compute heavy side of W transposed X. So now let's fill in what we have. So our W vector consists out of W zero, which is this. W1 and W2 times our x vector, and we wanted to consider this point over here. So for x0, we always have 1, and then we have 1 and 1 for x1 and x2. Okay, let's see what, what we get here. So sum these values up. What we get is minus 0 0.5. And if we now consider the heavy side function, which lo looks something like this, so it becomes um, yeah, one for all positive inputs, but here we have a negative input, so we get zero. So our result is zero, and this is actually the correct prediction because we wanted this point to be classified as false, or c equals zero. And the same can be done for the other points as well.